Hi, this is Gwen, your emotional freedom coach and inner child advocate with Your Strongest Life. And I'm continuing the theme today with um, that June is PTSD Awareness Month. And I'd like to continue on what we started last week about PTSD. And I found some really interesting articles. In fact, I found way too many articles on, so there's a lot, there's a lot to talk about, about PTSD. And I wanted to keep it to a, a, a minimum so that I'm not going on and on on this video. Um, but one of the, one of the topics that I came across was the differences between PTSD with men and with women. And so this is a little nugget of information that might be helpful for you. Um, and so the traumas that are more likely to lead to PTSD for men are the one that we typically think of when we think of PTSD, which is combat and war, even though last week we talked about how very often the war and the combat isn't necessarily what causes the PTSD, but it triggers childhood trauma. So that's, that's the case for men as well as women. Um, int intimate partner violence, psychological assault, witnessing severe injury or death of another person, fire or other kinds of disasters, surviving a life-threatening accident, and being threatened with a weapon. Those are the, the high on the list for men and PTSD. And for women, um, women are more, more vulnerable to experiencing sexual assault and childhood sexual abuse than men even though it happens for men, but it happens a lot more for women. And this is one of the experiences that is the is one of the highest risks for PTSD for women. And um, the symptoms, my phone is jiggling back and forth. I have it propped up on my knee because my other leg is not really in service. I'm still sitting here watching my knee heal. And so, um, please bear with me while this is jiggling around. Um, but the symptoms of PTSD for men are more likely, men will more likely turn to alcohol and drugs. Uh, they deal with hyper, hyper vigilance and emotional numbness and reckless behavior to hide behind their trauma. And women, this was just interesting because I haven't really heard a lot about PTSD and women other than working with my clients. And so I just think this is kind of fascinating. Women are more likely to be depressed and anxious. Um, and they tend to avoid activities and things that remind them of whatever the traumatic event was that they suffered through. And women often hesitate to seek help, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's not uncommon for them to wait for years to receive, receive treatment, if at all. And oftentimes when they do go for treatment, it's undiagnosed or misdiagnosed by health professionals from their lack of training or um, the lack of treating women with PTSD. So they just don't really know a lot about what they're doing. Not everybody, but a percentage. And then what I thought this was really, this is a, it's really interesting yet not surprising at all that many women who are victims of PTSD don't even realize that they have it. They often internalize so much of what they're feeling. So, <clears throat> excuse me, instead of searching for some kind of answer or help, they assume that there's just something wrong with them. 
not that I can relate to that at all from my most of my life I I recognize that and um, they just might not attribute their own thoughts and feelings and emotions and behaviors to something that happened to them but because there's something wrong with them <laughs> so and then there's the stigma against mental health disorders in general and thank goodness that things are starting to turn around more and more people are are looking into mental health issues and really trying to make some sense out of it and make it and, and address so that we're safe to address those things but you know especially it it tends to be worse for women because if they report an assault then they're very often further traumatized by being questioned and challenged about the events and their reaction to it. And so that's really, you know, it's just, it just adds to the problems. And so, but the good news is, is people no longer have to suffer like this with PTSD. And from my experience, my reading, the research, that EFT has been shown um, to reduce or eliminate the symptoms for PTSD and sometimes in a few short sessions and not always but very often it's much shorter than going through you know years of, of talk therapy and that's because it's somatic and we're actually dealing with the feelings that we're carrying in our bodies as opposed to, um, you know, our thoughts. So anyway, that's a little bit more on learning about PTSD and what we can do about it. And I look forward to next week where we can talk a little bit more. Uh, we'll be, I'm, I'm doing some research on CPTSD or complex post-traumatic stress disorder. So come on back for that. And until we meet again, happy tapping.